What's up guys, Budo of Aids back here with another e review. Sorry I haven't uh, uploaded a video in about a month now. Um, been busy and I finally got some time to do some reviews. And I've definitely got a lot more e that I want to do reviews on. So, here we go. Some uh, e -juice reviews. Now today I'm going to be reviewing from Vaporfy, the Grand Reserve line from Vaporfy. Pineapple Pal. Really nice bottle. Got the pineapple, nicotine, got the warnings, FDA stuff, or California proposition shit, and you know, stuff like that we don't really care about. 60 milliliters, uh, VGPG is 7030, and it's available at vaporfy.com, I believe. Um, you can probably get it from other websites, but you know, best bet just, you know, go to vaporfy vaporfy.com. Uh, Pineapple Pow, they have it in 30 mils and 60 mils. I have the 60 mil and it's $26. They have it in 0, 3, 6, 12, and 18 milligrams of nicotine. And as I did mention before, they do have a 30 milliliter version of this, but I do not have the price on it. I will actually search that for you right now. Not prepared, my bad. Uh, 30 milliliters is $18, not including shipping. Um, if you type in Vaporfy coupons uh, 2018, it's pretty easy to find like a 25% uh, off coupon, so I suggest doing that. You get uh, like $4 or $5 off your order or something like that, but yeah, I suggest doing that. Now, Pineapple Pal is, of course, from their premium line, premium lime, line, not lime, uh, the Grand Reserve. And the flavor is pineapple, watermelon, and sweet hibiscus. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Also comes in this box. And I think if you have the entire Grand Reserve line, you can, like, line these up, and it, like, spells out Grand Reserve. Vaporfy Grand Reserve. So, yeah, that's neat. Now, um, oh, yeah, smell test. A little rusty. All right, smell. Definitely getting pineapple. And I want to say that's the hibiscus. Not really getting much watermelon. Yeah, it smells really nice. It's not overpowering or anything like that. Now, what I'm vaping it on, uh, the Smock T Priv, I believe this is called, 220 watt dual 18650 battery mod. And of course, it lights up. I have it on blue since I'm wearing navy blue shirt. Uh, you know, why not? And then on the RDA, I have the Dead Rabbit RB RDA by Heathen. He's a fellow YouTuber. I actually watch him. Love his reviews. This is an RDA designed by him, and it's, it's pretty damn good. I think it looks cool, too. But yeah, this isn't a review on this, but this is awesome. Alright, so the taste test on the inhale. Okay, um, definitely pineapple on the inhale. Oh, and I forgot to mention uh, the coils. Um, I have two uh, dual tiger coils. Yeah, I'm switching it up from the alien coils. Um, tiger coils because dead rabbit, R RDA, they're both animals. I don't know. So, yeah, I know it's stupid. Yeah, it's ohming at about uh, 0.26. I'm vaping at 65 watts. You see, clouds up pretty nicely. Now, like I said, on the inhale, I get the pineapple. Uh, not much else. Now, on the exhale is where, you know, this actually shines. On the exhale, with, you know, most juices, actually, um, you're getting pretty much uh, the pineapple and the hibiscus. And there might be a hint of watermelon in there, but I, I'm honestly not getting much watermelon. It might be in there. Um, maybe, I, you know, I just can't detect it. You know, shit like that. But yeah. Now, I will tell you, when I first got this flavor, I was kind of put off by it because the flavor, it's not overpowering at all. It's, um, at first, I, I thought it kind of tasted watered down, almost like, you know, you're vaping water with, a, like, you know, a little 
hints of like you know fruit flavoring there but um, I started vaping it more frequently and it's really uh, you know turned me on uh, I guess you can say that it's a it's a nice light flavor you know it's not overpowering whatsoever it's one of the lighter flavors I think I've ever tried but you know you're still getting the pineapple and the hibiscus in my case at least um, not much of the pineapple you know it's probably there but I just you know I can't get it it's not much of a throw hit to speak of um, yeah it's pretty smooth But yeah, it's a really nice light flavor, you know. Um, if you don't want something overpowering, you know, I would suggest this. Especially if, you know, you like pineapple flavors. Yeah. Now, it is a little bit on the expensive side. Uh, at least for the 30 mil, it's almost, it's, you know, it's basically over 20 bucks, you know, including shipping for a 30 mil. Uh, but the 60 mil, it's all right. You know, it's basically Naked 100 fla uh, prices and, you know, how much I love Naked 100. But yeah, guys. Um... Sorry, first review in a while, I'm rusty. I'm gonna hurry up and try to wrap this up because I know I'm probably doing a terrible job. Um, on a scale of the one through five or zero through five, uh, you know, I'll give this a solid uh, four out of five. Um, what they could do to make it better, in my opinion, is actually, you know, always add more watermelon flavor. I love, or not watermelon, pineapple. Uh, flavoring. I love pineapple yee liquids, uh, you know, I love the fruit and everything. And yeah, maybe they could add more uh, watermelon to it, because I can't really taste it. But yeah, just overall increase, uh, you know, increase the volume to the flavor, you know. Uh, just a little bit, I'm sorry, because I think it's really cold out here in Florida. Yeah guys, solid 4 out of 5. And on the coil, uh, is it a coil gunker? Um, it actually might be just a little bit because I know some fruit flavorings um, already have sweetener in there so it might gunk up your coils a little bit and this was on a freshly wet cotton too and freshly um, coiled coils so yeah guys solid four out of five I do recommend it um, if it sounds interesting to you but yeah thanks guys